and Jonathan Lemire. Yeah, and we talked earlier in the show about how the Biden White House stays the course with its foreign policy. The same can be said about its kiss approach to the campaigns. They're going to tune out the noise. They're not going to listen to whatever is on Twitter X. And some of that is the president's famous stubbornness, and some of it is the team, the confidence in the team around him that what they've done has worked before, and they believe it will work again. And we're already seeing here that with voters starting to vote tonight, finally, voters voting. Uh, and, and if Donald Trump puts up the win, we think, then the Trump nomination becomes that much more of a reality, and we take one step closer to that binary choice, Trump-Biden, and that's when the Biden team has always believed that people will come home because they will vote for him because yeah. they don't want to go back down the Donald Trump way. And we should also mention a little news this morning. The Biden campaign team's strategy has always been to start ramping up events this year because they spent last year raising money. And they just put out news this morning that they raised more than $97 million. The re-election team and the DNC raised more than $97 million in the final three months of last year, mm. uh, which includes, and that means $235 million from its launch in April. And they finished the year with $117 million in cash on hand, which they say is the most any Democrats ever had at this point mm -hmm. in an election cycle. So this is going to be an extraordinarily expensive campaign. Democratic aides say to me that they think it's going to be about $2 billion. So they're going to need a lot more than this. But this is a positive number, they say. And they believe another sign that their strategy, though criticized by some of the, their fellow Democrats, is going to work.